hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video i am going to be stuffing um a couple of envelopes saving challenges today um as you guys know or if you are new here i am a single mom to a now three-year-old so my daughter just turned three the end of march and i'm so sad because these years are just flying by with her but she just turned three and i am saving money for her so i'm on my personal financial journey but i have started my daughter on a financial journey as well so she has three accounts that i'm focusing on so uh, she has a 529 college fund she has a um a brokerage account where i invest in stocks and then she has a high yield savings account that ho houses her um cash savings so it's really important to me that i budget money out of my paycheck to go towards her future i want to be able to um gift her a large or gift her these three accounts that is going to have a pretty large chunk of money in them when she is an adult just to give her a head start in her adult life just so she doesn't have to struggle with paying student loans or you know taking out student loans so she doesn't have to struggle to buy a house or to start a business or anything like that so um i received no help from um the other person that made her <laughs> so um all of the money that i put into her savings challenges comes from me also um i recycle and i sell her old toys and clothes and so any money that i get from selling her stuff recycling or if she gets monetary gifts from like her birthday christmas things like that it goes straight to her so those are other ways that i fund her accounts but today since it was her birthday i she did receive money from her birthday so on the invitation i specifically put on there no toys and um i put well i put like gift ideas right so it's fine if no one you know gives her a gift but um if we receive a gift i want to make sure um it's useful to us so i put gift ideas and then i listed no toys i put summer sandals summer dresses and um, money to go towards her future so that's what i listed in her gift idea section on her invitation um because we had a party so most people did buy her like an outfit but then in the card they gave her money so i have this money here that is from her birthday so oh and then i also have ten dollar um five dollars that i received we had recycled um our water bottles and we received five dollars so like i said if we recycle our cans and bottles it goes to her so today we have or she got from her um for her birthday 50 150 200 250 70 90 310 320 25 30 35 40 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So $349. So this money is from her birthday. And then she also got, um, what is it called? Like um, a gift card to JCPenney. So the $50 gift card to JCPenney's. And I already went to JCPenney's and I they had a really good um deal on like t-shirts and shorts so i was able to buy her five sets of you know five shirts and then five shorts so that was awesome now so like i said this was from her birthday and then one two three four four dollars was from an easter egg hunt that we went to so my mom's friend had like a big family um easter gathering at a local park and they invited us and so of course they had an easter 
an Easter egg hunt for all of the kids. And when we were opening my daughter's Easter eggs, she had four eggs that had $4 in it. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then this is from Recycling. So if you guys have kids and you throw them birthday parties, don't feel embarrassed or ashamed or like weird about putting gift ideas on the invitation and asking for money for their future. I mean, this is going to be so much more beneficial having this $300 plus dollars to go towards, towards her future than her receiving a bunch of toys that she's going to get bored of in a week, you know? So I feel absolutely no shame or anything like that asking for money for her. Um, so she has her three accounts. So I am doing savings challenges for her. So I want to save $3,000 this year to go towards her different accounts. So $1,000 in her savings, $1,000 in her investment account, and $1,000 in her 529. So I have savings challenges for all of those. This money I'm going to stuff into her envelopes, but I'm not going to mark off, you know, I'm not going to put $50 into her investment account and then mark off the $50 in the savings challenges because I am budgeting $1,000 out of my income to go towards her challenges. So this is just extra, so I'm going to put it in her envelopes. I don't know how much I'm going to do in each yet, but let's see. So her cash savings, um, I tend to focus more on her cash savings, like to put a little bit more in her cash savings than her other accounts, just because I'd rather her have more cash um, than like money in her investment account or her college account. So I think we will put... Um, Let's see. Okay. So in her cash savings, we are going to put $100. Oh, wait, 50, 100, 150, 170, 180, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So we're going to put $185. Um, $184 in here. So this $15 is extra money that came from selling her clothes and things like that. So, um, let's see. So this $255 is what she has total. So her um, challenge for her savings account is actually in a $1,000 savings binder um, that I'm doing. So... That's why there was only $15 in here, but it says I have $255. That's because that money is in, like, you know, those little $1,000 savings booklet. So I don't have my calculator, so I'm not going to count this right now. So we put $184. Okay. And then for investment, we'll do $50, $70, $75, $80, $81, $82, $83, $84, $85, $86, $87, $88, $89, $90, $91, $92, $93, $94, $95, $96, $97, $98, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99, $99,
So let's see how much we have now in here. So we have a hundred dollars that I put already into her 529. So 100, 150, 170, 190, 95, 200, 205, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 210 dollars. So that is it for this stuffing. I just wanted to show you guys or and to like encourage you guys if you have kids and if you're saving money for them, like go ahead and ask family and friends if they are going to gift them something. If they like if they don't need clothes or any more toys, then definitely give that suggestion to your family and friends like, hey, you know, I'm saving up for college for you know this kiddo I he doesn't or he or she doesn't need any more clothes or any more toys but if you would like please you know gift towards their future or gift towards their education so that way you know like I said they won't get a bunch of toys that they're not going to play with they'll have money that's actually going to benefit them in the long run so that's why I just wanted to make this video just to show you guys how much my daughter was able to receive for her third birthday. Like, she received over $350 for her third birthday. Like, <laughs> that's insane. So, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave me a comment, thumbs up this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!